And with Hoosier Mike Pence about to become the Vice President of the United States, several groups from Indiana are headed to this week's inauguration. Yeah, we're sending a team, and one of those groups, for them, lining up for the inaugural parade is a tradition. Our Naomi Peskovic shows us how Culver Academies is taking on this very historic moment. Room, if they're a bit nervous, give them plenty of room. Culver is known as an elite boarding school in the Midwest. But since 1913, it's been a Culver tradition to bring the Black Horse Troop to Washington when a new president takes office. I think just being able to kind of relive past troopers' lives and just continue on the tradition that we have here is probably the most meaningful aspect towards me. Keep it marching forward. Good second. Each inauguration, Culver vies for a spot in the parade, which is never a guarantee, but the possibility of performing and the history of horsemanship attracts students every year. I think I'm most excited to ride in the inaugural. Like, I feel like it's an amazing opportunity, and I'm so blessed to be able to go, and I can't wait. Good. Now you're covered up. This year, 57 young men and 23 young women are going. They'll need 80 horses that have to be shipped in five 18-wheelers. The logistics are complicated. In the morning of the parade, we have to have the trailers loaded and kids on the buses with all the staff and be re on the ready line by 8 o'clock or they'll bump us from the parade. We know it takes a lot of security to get into an inaugural parade, and the Culver horses were also heavily vetted. The school tells us they had to send in 300 pages of paperwork for the horses alone, including everything from blood tests to health papers and even background checks. It was tough, <laughs> I gotta say. It's been a long ride and the horse has gotten better, but we're still working out the kinks. Part of the work involves getting all those horses ready for the big crowds. That means practicing several times a week and even on the weekend. Well, we've been going into formations and walking around the riding hall that we have here, and we've just been making sure that the horses are used to each other and that they can deal with like debris and trash that blows by. And we've just been desensitizing them to loud music as well. By the time you go by and you're riding by the president and you see him, uh, no matter who it is that's elected, well, it's always very exciting. It makes the whole thing worthwhile. I know that this year's inaugural may or may not be controversial, but it really doesn't matter because it's a part of a tradition that has lasted for many, many years, and it's always an honor. All right. Naomi Paskovitz, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. This will be the 17th time that Culver has participated in an inaugural parade. The troop, if you're looking for them, will come right in between the IMPD motorcycle drill team and also the band from Columbus North. Yeah, you know, in the past they've been placed toward the back of the parade lineup, but with a Hoosier becoming vice president, units from Indiana are bumped to the top 10 to 15 spots in the parade. And we're going to help you be an eyewitness to the inauguration. Our team, including our political reporter Kevin Rader and reporters Carlos Diaz and Naomi Peskovitz, will be in Washington to bring you insider coverage. You can watch for their stories both here on Channel 13 and at WTHR.com.